Uh, for us, ISS is actually the ultimate test platform because you have the combination of all the space condition parameters, including the higher doses of radiation as well as the microgravity effects. Currently, the crew is very much depending on supplies from Earth, so they get the water, the oxygen they need from Earth. In the future, in long-term missions, this will not be possible anymore. Uh, so one of the development is to recycle the water and the oxygen as much as possible, to reuse it over and over. Uh, currently, we are investigating a bacteria which is actually a kind of microalgae, which is a photosynthetic microorganism, which is capable of producing oxygen. And finally, the biomass you make is also edible. So finally, the crew would be able to eat it. Uh, we are investigating how bacteria are growing and evolving and behaving in space conditions because we know how they grow on Earth, but we don't know how they adapt really to gravity, low gravity and higher ionizing radiation in space. Uh, different scientists and European uh, investigator groups have sent bacteria to space to investigate how they grow there and how they evolve. Uh, but we have seen that depending on the bacterium you choose and the culture condition you choose, also the reaction of the bacteria may change. Uh, Melista is a project where we try to develop a technology uh, which allows the astronaut to produce its own oxygen, water and food actually by taking the waste and reusing the waste in a very efficient way. Uh, to do that, Melissa has uh, different chemical techniques, different physical techniques, but also biology reactors, or what we call greenhouses and bacterial growth chambers. If we can better understand how we can miniaturize these kind of water recycling processes uh, using bacteria, for example, on small scale, independent, definitely we can also use this technology on Earth to improve our daily uh, water purification systems. But the final goal would be to demonstrate that we can do this kind of growing of bacteria, growing of plants also on the Moon. Uh, so for us, if one day we could do this kind of flight experiments on the moon's surface, I think would be a major uh, milestone.